Hello everyone, Terry here, your Gel Moment Independent Distributor, and today I am going to work on a Gel Extend. Um, not so much a nail build as more of a repair on this one. I did do a little bit of a build this morning on this nail. Um, you can see that clear see-through tip at the end. I just wanted to try to match the length here of this nail. So I've got that and it's uh, it's pretty sturdy. That's just with one coat. So what I did was one coat of the gel extend as a base. And so I've done that on all fingers um, and, uh, and then did the nail build. So as you can see here, I have a good little chunk taken out of this nail, it broke off. So I'm just going to take one of the forms. These are what they look like. They're adjustable. So you just kind of open it up slide your nail in there. So you want the form part to go under the nail and you want it to fit nice and tight. And then you're going to work on fixing that up. So I'm not going to go too far past at all because I'm not really looking to extend this nail, just even it back out. So our gel extend is quite thick. Um, so just gonna take my time here a little bit and it's clear very thick it's gonna be a little difficult to see but what I'm gonna do is put kind of a kind of a blob here where the broken part is and just kind of push it onto the form and be sure it's kind of like between the form and my nail so I'm getting that piece kind of repaired here so you won't be able to see it till I cure it and take it off, but I've kind of got like a, a bit of a blob going that way, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect while you're working on the form because you can file it and get it all evened out once it's cured and you're done fixing it up. So that first coat, there was actually a crack in the nail as well slightly. So the first coat of the gel extend kind of repaired the crack for me. And then this coat, I'm going to just work to repair the part that is, oops, just got a little. So then I'm going to go and just kind of smooth it out onto the nail. You kind of go about halfway or maybe a little more down. I'm just meeting up to the top there. Again, I'm not going to worry about if I only go a tiny bit over uh, up here. It's mostly I want to focus in this area here to get that length back. A little hard to see when you're working with the clear, so even for myself and right in front of my face can be a little difficult. You can also buff this. So even if it looks a little lumpy, it's okay. Um, and you'll get better at it over time. I've only just tried it today. So just that other extend on my other nail is all I have done so far. So that is the extent of my experience so far. Um, so as I said, you know, it will get easier over time. And so I'm going to cure this. Let me just move that away. I'm going to cure that. And once your gel extend is cured, it um, does have kind of a sticky feel, but it's not that it's uncured. You just need to give it a wipe with a uh, nail cleansing pad. And that just removes that kind of a little bit of a film that it feels like. Um, but yeah, so this one here, I was just trying to match the length. So I'm going to do the same with these, these two, um, just to get a bit of length back. And then this one, as I said, was a repair. So we're going to uh, see how this turns out. I'll show you how to remove the form and then you can just file off what you, um, what you don't need of the build. So hopefully this, uh, this piece works. I hadn't, as I said, done kind of a, a chunk, uh, repair. So the build worked well. Um, I noticed too, you just, you need to get the form really tight. What I noticed is a little bit had leaked 
um, between the form and my nail. So a little bit is under the nail cured, but it's no harm. It's not, it doesn't feel weird or anything. I just kind of noticed looking at it that it was there. So you can kind of loosen the edges a bit and then just push at the form, just push it down all the way around here and it will release. And yeah, actually I did get tighter that time. So I didn't really get too much of it under the nail. So as you can see, you've got this weird shape going here. So I'm just going to give it a quick wipe to get rid of the kind of tacky feeling. And feels pretty firm. It's actually you know, pretty good. There's a lot of strength there. So I'm just going to file it into the shape that you want. I just, as I said, I just wanted to match the length and repair that bit. So let's hope I got enough there. Looks like I did. So gel extend is also, as I said, I put it on every nail, but I don't need to lengthen or do anything to these three, for example. Um, and that's, uh, that's okay too, because it's to, to strengthen as well, not just lengthen. So if you just want to use it as a base to get that strength into your nail, that is also its intent. You can use it just for that without building. So got just a little bit of a wonky shape going there, but it's looking pretty good. Don't want to lose too much more of the length on that little corner here. Um, and if you wanted to though, actually see, I do have a little dip in there still. So if I don't want to lose that length, I could actually put the form back on and give it just a little more if I needed to. So I'm just trying to decide. Yeah, it looks like there's a little dip there. So that's okay. And it's just a learning process here as well. So it was just a tiny piece. So what I'll do is put the form back on and just touch that up and get another little bit going just to finish up that. But that's uh, that that's how you would do it and you just got to work at it. And so it does feel very smooth though. Um, the ones that don't need the extension, nice smooth finish just so I keep it all even for its durability and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to touch that little corner up. I was going to extend just a couple more and that's all there is to it. So again, for lengthening or just strengthening or repairing a chunk, this new gel extend product is pretty fantastic. As I said, my first time using it, but I've seen lots and lots of reviews of lots of people loving it. Um, it's only been out for a few weeks, but uh, some of our gel, uh, some of our gel sisters got, um, you know, they're part of a program where they get to test these things out early too. So some of them loving it and have been using it for a little while. So multiple uses at this point. So uh, thanks again, Terry here, your Gel Moment independent distributor. Any questions about our Gel Extend or the nail forms, how to use them, um, please feel free to ask anytime. One thing I do want to point out is uh, the Gel Extend product is HEMA free and HEMA is one of the things that when you do tend to, some people get a little bit of a gel sensitivity and if you do have that, that tends to be the ingredient that causes it. So this Gel Extend, we've heard from a few people, has even been able to be used as a base, cured, and then they can use the gel product or regular polishes on top. So that's pretty neat too. So thanks for checking in. And again, Terry here, your Gel Moment independent distributor.